friends. I got a surprise the day after I made the sculpture and saw that there were massive cracks in it. I don't know if it's because the pot inside got wet and expanded, but I patched it up with clay as you can see. There's a fly. <laughs> I got a lot of um, watercolors. Uh, that's actually the only paint I have. Um, I don't have acrylics or oils or anything. So I decided to use the watercolors. And because they are translucent, uh, I found some white to mix with them to make the color more um, opaque. I decided to do a base coat of red. Um, <laughs> it's just. Uh, yeah, I don't have any specific reason, except for that um, the complementary color of green is red. So I thought it would give it more of a, a solid color as well. But you can see that I didn't mix the red with uh, white, so it is still very translucent. Also another thing I realized is that um, I used a lot of the paint <laughs> in making this, in gathering it. Uh, I don't think watercolors was supposed to be used for this. <laughs> I'm doing the white for the eyes. Trying not to go over the edges, but that's a bit difficult, especially with the brushes I had. And then doing another coat. I really like the color that it came out as. Um, this color of green. And it contrasts nicely with the tongue, which is bright red. Now the painting is done. Look at our mountains. So I took it outside to spray paint um, after leaving it another day to dry and I was just using clear lacquer spray um, but I found out it is very challenging trying to spray something and film it with my phone at the same time. <laughs> There's the fly, it's wing attached uh, after it broke all <laughs> in the painting. Unfortunately, uh, it broke off again. <laughs> and the worst part is it just fell off the log. So <laughs> I was like searching for another 10 minutes or something for that wing uh, in between the grass and stuff there because <laughs> it, it just went in there. Uh, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> the things you don't see on camera. Hmm. So I turned them around and sprayed the bottom, making sure that every part was indeed sprayed. So I did this a couple of times. I would spray it and wait for it to dry, and then uh, turn it around and spray it again. And this is the finished project. This was so much fun to make, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Just to think that I took a, a seed pod from a jacaranda tree and made a frog. <laughs> uh, I did really love how it came out. What do you think? Uh, put your comments in the description. Well, until I see you next time, be blessed. Bye.